If you work in the food industry or any service level job, you've probably at some point heard the words, I got you next time. For those of you who are lucky enough to have never experienced this, there are some people in this world that believe that no rules apply to them. They're free to do whatever they want, including not paying for things that literally every single other human on this planet knows should be paid for. They think it's somebody else working hard and running a business is just another NPC in their world and that they could take ultimate advantage of them with five words, I got you next time. At my job, this seemed like it would happen almost every single month. Someone would come in, I'd make their sandwich, we'd get to the register, and they'd say something along the lines of oh man i don't have cash right now but i got you next time i'm here though bro i've never seen you before in my entire life and i know for a fact that i'll never see you again there is no next time just pay the six dollars for your sandwich but i want to make it clear that the regular customers who forget their wallet and just don't have enough to pay at that moment of course i'm gonna let them pay next time but if i've never seen you before and you walk into the store you ask me to make your sandwich ingredient by ingredient and then you have the nerve to tell me you're gonna pay next time well have fun being hungry for lunch if someone's gonna say i got you next time to me i might as well say it too whenever you have the funds your sandwich will be right here for you. And I already know there's going to be some people in the comments saying, but Milad, they just forgot their wallet. My brother in Christ, if this was 2004, I would accept this as an answer, but we're literally in 2023. You could pay me in cash, credit card, Apple Pay, Venmo, Cash App, Zelle, CryptoZoo. There's no excuse. Honestly, just grab a mop and start cleaning the floors. We'll take all forms of payment. And I remember back in the day, aka 2016, when all of these fancy payment methods weren't as popular and I was brand new to my job. I let somebody slide who told me that they would pay next time and I thought nothing of it. The guy seemed like an honest lad and honestly, he's seemed pretty good for it. I watched him ride off in his car while eating a sandwich and I just remember thinking to myself, I'm never gonna see this man again. And I was right, I never saw the guy again in my entire life. Another time I had a dude come in that told me he didn't have any cash on him and that he left his credit card in the car. So he said he'll be right back to grab his credit card. I must have stood there for 25 minutes before I realized he just drove off and he's never coming back. I'm pretty sure I ate that sandwich during my lunch break and I, I remember it being pretty good. But that couldn't even come close to one of the first times I actually let somebody take the sandwich and pay next time. When they came back to the store a few days later, they literally just told me that it wasn't them. It was the same exact dude and he was just telling me straight to my face that he didn't get a sandwich. I think it must have been his evil twin or something. I don't know to this day. But nothing will top the guy that told me that he forgot his wallet at home and he said his home was about 20 minutes away. I must have told him five times that it was okay and that he could just come in and pay next time. But this absolute Chad insisted on making things right and paying right now. So the dude drove home, grabbed his wallet and came back and paid me. I don't think I'll ever forget this and honestly, I don't understand why he did it. But once again, absolute Chad. Okay, in all seriousness, if you can't pay and you make it really clear that you're going to come back and pay later, of course, we're going to give you the food and trust you. But if you're one of the ones who say you'll come back and pay later and basically steal whatever the store is giving to you, you're literally taking food from the mouths of the business owner and their families. So don't steal, don't be mean, and don't do drugs, kids.